Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to go over panels and a little bit over buttons as well. Now, first thing I should say is that uh, frames that you guys already saw was the window. You know, all of this. You see, Emacs is all windows. And panels are, are the things that hold together widgets, such as buttons, text, and checkboxes, and all of that good stuff that make up a, a program. Now, buttons usually, I mean, I'm sorry, not buttons, panels. Uh, usually go inside of frames so the frame holds a panel and the panel holds the widgets and widgets are the buttons and text and etc all that <clears throat> now the reason uh, why we use a panel instead of just directly putting all the stuff buttons and all that good stuff in the frame is because if we put it in a panel we can use that panel uh, let's say in a different program without being dependent on the frame for example, uh, let's imagine that this whole square right here, all of all of this is a panel, and then over here, everything right here is another panel. It would be pretty horrible if this panel was a frame by itself, a window, and then this one was another window by itself. We would have two completely windows, and, and most people would say that's not a very good thing. But you see right here, if we have here, if we say that these two are panels. We can have them together. So whenever I want, uh, let's say, a panel where I can input stuff, such as this one, I would just call it in my program. Or if I want to display the, the files, the folder structure, I would just call these. Or if I want to mix it up, like right here we have two, I would just put the two panels inside a main, inside a window, inside a frame. So that's why uh, we use uh, panels. Hopefully that made sense. Um, <clears throat> now let's see. Now to create a panel, um, it's pretty simple. We'll just call it panel one, and set it equal to a panel. Now, um, what panel accepts as the parameters are basically the same as uh, the frame one. So if we look, you see it basically all the same. And, and, and look at that, it needs. Oh wow, what happened? Okay, <clears throat> and uh, it needs a uh, parent as well, right there. So if we go back, we're going to pass in the parent, which is a frame. So now to prove to you guys that we actually made a panel is uh, let's change the color background of it. Self.panel1.set background and let's uh, purple. Let's go with purple. Why not? Um, okay. So, right. Before I run it, I'm just going to change this line real quick. I will put it if name equals main. <coughs> There you go. I don't know why I didn't do this uh, earlier earlier in the other video, but uh, now I did. All right, so if I run it, yep, there you go. See, there's our panel. I mean, there's our uh, title, our window, and look at that, our panel. Bam. And it's purple, just like we said it would be. Uh, now, let's see. Now that we have a panel, um, let's create a button. That way it won't look so lonely. So let's just call it button. BTN equals WX dot button. Now, uh, what button takes in? Um, oops, what's happening? All right, there you go. <clears throat> it's basically the same thing as the other widgets. You see how all these basically have the same uh, uh, parameters? Well, basically, as you'll see, most of them have the same. And as a surprise, button also takes in a window parent. So if we go back, that will be the panel. The panel is going to be its parent, panel one. And <clears throat> the label will be, I don't know, um, button. And then the position, where we want to position it, is going to be, I don't know, 30x and uh, 70 or 80y. Sure, why not? Now, if we run it, we should see a button. There you go. Button. And if we press it, nothing happens. And the reason for that is because we haven't told the button to do anything. We haven't uh, binded an event to it. So that's why it's just sitting right there minding its own business doing nothing. So yeah, look at that. We have a button. Pretty awesome, right? <clears throat> now let's see. Um, let's see, we have a button. And if we want to create another button, the process is exactly the same. So let's just call it button2. wx.button. self.panel is the parent. 
label will be um, I don't know uh, number two and the position will be I don't know um, 250 and 300 that should center it right <clears throat> and why is it complaining uh, why is it complaining what what did I do wrong oh position is that there we go so now if I run it there you go a panel a number over here hmm I wanted it to be centered but I oh well so yeah as you guys can see if we give it a, a hard if we hardwire the position in um, we would have to change it every time the window is resized for example if we always want a button to stay in the middle we would have to do something um, basically something that listens that whenever the frame changes we would uh, we would update the position of that now um, you can do that but Python WX Python has something called sizers and sizers basically take care of all that they automatically adjust um, the proportions and the size of everything of all the widgets inside of it that way you don't have to do that all that stuff manually for example if I put uh, this button in the center and as I shrink it it'll stay in the center and as I grow it it'll still stay in the center no matter what so that's what sizers are for um, I'll explain uh, sizers another time because they're they deserve a video of their own they're pretty big topic some people get it some people don't <laughs> so yeah, I'll make a different uh, video for that. But uh, yeah, um, so yeah, you guys now know how to create a panel. Um, I'll, later, I'll go. Sh I'll go over how to create, uh, how to have multiple panels in the same um, in the same frame. That's that, the way we do that is also by sizers. And as you guys see, sizers are pretty much like basically you guys are gonna use them. For everything, if you guys decide to do, use uh, WX Python. And what else have we done? Ah, buttons. So you guys now know how to create buttons. Pretty simple stuff. So yeah, on the next uh, video, I'll show you guys how to actually um, separate all this. For example, the panel should have a class of its own. You you really shouldn't create uh, panels like this because you can't reuse them for example like I was saying we have these two different panels and creating different windows uh, just to use a certain panel is not the best idea ever so we'll separate them into a class of its own that way we can use the panel whenever we want to without being dependent on the frame alright and that's it